Alright, hey guys, Ryan here, back again with episode 2 of our newest series, Bidding Wars. You guys seem to like the first one, so I'm bringing it back again. This time it is live, so we're going to see what deals we can scavenge out here today. Today is the 26, uh, 27th now, so it has passed 12 a.m. So, um, the, de the pack deal thing, whatever you want to call it, Boxing Day pack was out, and actually I think I'm going to bid on, no, I don't think there's much profit to be made there. Um, the pack, the um, Boxing Day pack is out for another day still, I think. Uh, probably a bit more than a day, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. But, um, so yeah, there should be some pretty good deals on the market. Uh, I'll show you guys my trade pile in a second, but for, actually, what did I make the minimum price? A thousand. Alright, I'll show you guys my trade pile quick. So, I'm debating whether or not to do a trade day because I, like, just hoarded a bunch of, uh, start of the weeks today, but then the pack was now yet, and I would have bought one of those packs, so I'm sorry about that, guys. Matt did buy one with Microsoft points, though, so that is good. Unfortunately, I have, like, 80 or something, so I can't. Anyways, so I've got two Star of the Week Dougie Hamiltons, a Star of the Week Patrick Elias, a Star of the Week Alex Galchenyuk, and a Star of the Week Griffin Reinhardt. And I actually just got this before the episode started, so let me just list in quick. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, those guys are not selling, and I don't want to sell them for cheap, so, uh, maybe we'll just wait a bit to sell those, or do a trade day with you guys. <coughs> Let me know if you guys want to see that. So, alright, uh, Nick, Fel oh, no, that's ending too soon. We need to make a decision, um, because you do not want to make spontaneous decisions in this. I have some, oh, uh, risky, no, I'm not going to do it. <coughs> I think the safest thing to do is, if you're ever debating about a card and there's not enough time to actually check how much it goes for, let it go unless you're pretty confident about it, like, that's way too much for a Gagne. Um, like, some some of the prices I know pretty well, others are, like, they change all the time. Most are unpredictable. Uh, Goligoski, that's way too much for him, especially when the pack's out. Um, too much for Galliardi. Like, there's some players I regularly buy and sell. And uh, Goligoski and Gall Galliardi are two of them. Um, let's see who else here. You gotta always go back to the previous page as well, so you don't miss any, because they go so fast that you will miss them sometimes. Two fifth, and I already have Gustafson. <coughs> uh, who else is here? Mueller. I think Mueller for 200 is a pretty good deal. Let's see if we can flip that for a bit more. Um, I'm sure we can. If we, I, I wouldn't go any higher than that, though. I don't think 200 is a decent price for him. Perron, though, I will bid 600 on. Uh, I'll probably get a bit, oh, Hudler, 250 for an 89, he'll definitely, um, I'll see, the other, 500, but there's still a bit of profit to be made there. Uh, Burrows, I'll, I'll bid on Burrows. Um, yeah, see, I got a bit on something, but I don't want to exit because there's nothing like, if I see a really, really good deal, then I'll egg... Oh, both. let's see, like, right here, that's a good deal I'm going to back out for. Because he usually goes for, like, 5k, I think, sometimes more. <coughs> so, yeah, I'm going to definitely back out for him. I just got a message on Skype from Bacon Country. Shout out to him. Oh, man, there's a... Oh, what's his name? Creechy there. But, um, I'm, I'll read that message in a minute. Oh, my bad, guys. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, see, I'm not gonna bid on him. I don't know how high he actually goes for. I will bid on this though. Burrows, what's he at? Eight. I really don't know how much he goes for though. <coughs> uh, I'm sure I got a bid there. Yep, we'll go 27. So I'm pretty sure there's three people actually betting on this. I being one of them. 31. Uh, I'm gonna bid 35 and quickly go. This is going to be like. Uh, I because I, I really don't know how much he goes for. Prices have probably changed so much. Uh, Calgary, I'm gonna just set this. <coughs> I probably won't make it back in time. Yeah, C six. Okay, let me see if I can get there. You know my pucks are still down, so I think I actually may have got them. 
Yeah, 3,500. That's a pretty good deal for him, I think. Uh, send him to the trade pile. And I got both these guys for pretty good deals, actually. I'll probably only make like 100 to 200 off Mueller. I think I can make about four or 500 off uh, Huddler, I, depending on how much he goes for. Honestly, I don't really have a number. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, let's see what else we can get here. See, that's the thing, though. Now I'm down pucks, which sucks. Oh, man, I backed out. Actually, while we're on this, I got this um, Griffin Reinhardt here, 750 pucks. But now, like, he, before you sell him for, like, 3k so i was like that's a crazy good deal but now i can't even sell him for that much uh i'll list these guys i think i'm gonna put him around like i bought him for 3500 so if i can sell him for 5000 that's a good profit um that's lower than i saw listed too i'll go like 51 <coughs> because it is late so um we'll see if anyone buys him mueller that should be fine huddler let me actually check quick. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, center on Detroit. Okay. Uh, not Huddler. 4K. That's that's pretty high, I'm pretty sure. Uh, he does have good stats, though. Like, he has really good stats, but 4K is definitely way too high. Um, the, see, like, there's there's no buy now. Okay, so that's what I usually go off of, a buy now or a bid. Um, 15, so 1,400. So I might be able to get, like, a 1,000 out of him. That seems, that's pretty good, because I got him for, what, 300? <coughs> oh, there's a 5. I see, like, when I get into a position like this, where there's one that's really low and the rest I can make a decent profit off of, I just buy the next lowest one if there's a gap in between the lowest right now and the next like <laughs> lowest <coughs> excuse me so i'm gonna buy that um huddler for 500 and then i can say so i saw another one for 950 so even if i don't make a great profit off this one i can get the or i saw another one for 900 by now i think but that is at the very last page so people may not see that i think i might be able to squeeze a thousand out of huddler um, you know, that'll, I'll be definitely happy if I can get that, uh, but I do want him to sell, we'll put him for that, <coughs> so just in case anyone wants him, they can get him, but, uh, yeah, these guys, like, I had a good amount of pucks before, Eliash I got for a pretty good deal, actually, I got him for 28,000, I think, and, uh, at the time he was going for 40,000, but now I can't sell him for, like, 30k, so, that's not good. <laughs> I don't know how many more players I can get because I don't have that many pucks at the moment. So um, I'm hoping overnight I might be able to sell some of those start of the weeks. And if I don't, then that sucks a lot. That is way too much for Coburn. Uh, he's another guy I sell regularly. S Scott Hartnell for this price, though, it would be really nice to get. Yeah, so there's going to be a couple people bidding on him. Um... Yeah, uh, Route 2, I saw him going for more than that earlier, but I'll go up to, like, <coughs> I think Hartnell could sell for, like, 2,000, I think. I sold mine earlier, I think by now, 1,400, which was pretty low. Um, I'll go up to, like, mm, I'll go to, like, 1,400 on this max, and I'm then I'm out, so, like, if this guy bids me here... Um, I'll go to 14, and then I'll drop out if I can't get this. <coughs> because I do want to save some pucks. There might be some better deals, like Connolly for 800 is pretty good. Coglian, um, I don't know. Cogli that's a good deal for him. But, like, I don't know. I, I don't want to go through reselling him, because that's not that, like, I could probably get, like, 500 off that. And it seems though I got that. No, no, someone else. Someone else got the Hartnell. I'm fine with that though. That there wasn't much money to be made there, so it's not like heartbreaking that I lost it. But uh, let's see who else is here. No, way too much for him. <coughs> uh, I don't see anyone right now. But see, this is the thing. Like I would have missed all those players if I didn't go back. So. Uh, <coughs> 
<laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Um, I don't have any water around either. Whoa, way too much for him. Crap, I'm gonna go to Mama Keaton right now. He's actually so good. Um, why? Uh, no, I don't want to pay 700 for him. Uh, there's training on. He's actually in. Oh, 83. Why? Why does he invest 75? I don't know. I have a LeBlanc on my team, but I think I like started with him. Uh, that's the 700 one. Mason, I think I'm going to bid on because I'm pretty sure he goes for around 2k. So if I, I don't want to go any higher than that though, just in case, because his price probably dropped a ton. Um, that's a better price for him. That's usually what I sell him for around that price. But still, I wouldn't make really any money. So if someone bid 11, won't bought out or Grabowski for 1100. So there's a <coughs> a decent thing to go off of. I think I actually just missed a Grabowski at the start of this recording. I know I could make some Kulikov if I get him for this price. I know I could make a pretty good, a uh, pretty good amount actually, because I'm pretty sure he goes for two K maybe. I only see bids up around a thousand, so I'm not gonna go any higher on him though. So if someone else gets him, then I'm out. Uh, Let's see. Now, hmm, Wayne Simmons, that's a good price. Uh, Moro, that's a good price for him. Rhymer, no, that's a good price for Rhymer. <coughs> so it looks like I've got most of the recent people I've been on. Uh, I'm. That seems like a good price for Stafford. <coughs> I'm gonna roll the dice there. I know at the beginning I'm like, don't do that, but. I'm almost positive he goes for a lot more than that. So Grabowski we saw sold for on a New Jersey team change for uh, about ele it was eleven hundred by now. So I definitely probably I yeah I'm not going any higher than that. There's another Hartnell there four hundred. Uh, let's see if I can get him another Grabowski. <coughs> <coughs> okay, someone will bid me on uh, Marshawn. Yeah. Oh. I have had a lot of trouble selling him before, so I don't know how high I'll go on him. Plus, I don't have many pucks left, so I want to get some good deals still. Because, uh. Coburn. No. Too much for. Coburn's I can usually get for like 150 to 200 if you're on at the right times. Uh, Steckle, he's actually really good. Um. Hang. No. Coburn. Why is everyone pricing Coburn so high right now? Uh, let's see who else. Jokinen. Nope. Hmm. <coughs> I don't... Uh, oh, there's another Stafford. So, yeah, I, I was... I don't know. That was a risky bid by me. Uh, Conley for 250 If I can get him for that, I'll definitely be happy. So, I got outbid for about 1,000 uh, pucks total so a lot of stuff uh people are bidding me for but Gadana for I don't know how much he goes for at all though I have like no knowledge on McDonough so I'm gonna I'm not even gonna go with that because I could be losing pucks. I know I can get Chris Hickens for about I think a thousand would be a good deal for him. Like I could sell him for uh Backland I have tons of trouble selling so I'm not even gonna bother with him. Yeah, I know I should be checking my, um, ooh, 400 for MacArthur. I'm pretty sure I sold him earlier quickly at about a 1,000. So I'll bid on him. Headman, no. No, he usually goes for about a 1,000. Uh, Brogur, I could probably make some money off Brogur, but I don't want to take the chance. <coughs> um, hmm. Whoever bid that 750 on Weiss is not smart. I get him for like 250 to 300 most of the time. I would bid on Markov, but Montreal fans, those all Montreal cards for the most part go up a ton. Gagne for seven? No, it's, that's like I mean, there's not much profit to be made there. Really, Leno? Um, no. Oh, that's a pretty low buy now for him. Um. Curtis Glencrot, no. <coughs> see, I usually go with the 500 start price, so when I see a lot of these players, I like really want to grab them, but 
Um, it's different when because I bumped it up to a thousand for this. So, a lot of the players I'm not used to. Uh, let's see, Cogliano. Buy now of six hundred for Cogliano. That's his price must have dropped a ton. Cause uh, <clears throat> one way I like to check as well is like that card's been up for I think at least. 55 minutes, well, like, you can do it at 57 and a half minutes, pretty much. Um, and no one's bought them for 600 by now. So, obviously, there's better prices, I guess, for them. Uh, where's Cogliano? So, those guys I don't even want to bother with. Uh, let's see who else we've got here. Lars Eller, five, no. It's not a good price for Eller. Uh, Con, nope. I want to pick up a car, like Placanich. His price goes so up. Um, I should really check who I've got and who I haven't. Um, I know I have some steals in there. Nathan Gerby. <coughs> I actually have a funny story about him. Um, but it's not really funny. It's kind of sucks. But oh, 250 for it. Oh, good. I'll bid on that. I thought it was a. Uh, there's another Buffalo player that I was trying to sell who has good stats. I forget who it is. It's not Gerby. Um, I don't know, but I thought it was the other player I was thinking of, so I bid 500 on him, and I'm like, oh my god, this, there's no way this guy goes for like more than 300. And I was trying to record an episode at that point, and I was like, god, I'm going to lose money, but I put it up for 750 by now, and it sold like really fast. I was like, wow, that's awesome. But, um, okay, if I can get Headman, that'd be awesome. I don't know how much Paul Martin goes for, so I'm not going to bid on him. Uh, Patrick Eves, Alex Hemsky, uh, for that price is pretty good. Uh, Sean, no. Um, Downey's, like, for an 85, he goes, I see him all the time in, like, the lower 500s, though. So, 300 for him isn't bad. <laughs> oh, excuse me. But, um, I, I don't want to really take a chance there. Um, <coughs> I should really, yeah, I think I'm going to check my watch list soon. Because I'm going to be missing out on some deals if I do not. And, uh, let's see, there's going to be a lot of players in here, so. Uh, Scott Harnell, that's a, um, yeah, I'm glad I dropped out on him. I got Mason for 700. Aw, oh, someone bid 650. Um. So they got a steal on that. Okay, I'm I'm actually glad I didn't get the Stafford. Uh, okay, I didn't get Moro, no Marchand, no Simmons. Grabowski went for similar to what that guy bought it. Now for thousand for him. Tim Conley for two fifty. That is a steal. Um, I'm really glad I got him. I thought I definitely would have got out bit on that. Let's see what else I got in here. <coughs> okay, so that's I only got like two players. Oh, I got. Uh, Higgins two for three hundred. So that's the good thing about buying players at this rate, rather than like start of the weeks for a lot of money. You don't get taxed much, and uh, even that's like one of the things. And even if you lose money, you're only losing like a couple hundred bucks. Not even. Usually it's like fifty bucks. Uh, if you buy smart, you could lose a lot of money. But <laughs> okay, Placanich. I don't know, like, I see him, usually when I'm getting into bidding wars with him, it's it goes pretty high. Uh, I think I'm going to drop out at 9, so, if he outbids me here, then I'm out. But I know he will, Montreal fans go nuts over this guy. I always get outbid for him. <coughs> I might actually get him, oh sorry, that's my phone. Um, okay, good, I got Gerby for 250, that's definitely a plus. Uh, let's see, I might have actually got him. Nope, I got a bid. Uh, Headman, oh man, I almost missed out on him. Uh, you can go, Kanich, Hemsky, I will... Uh, I don't even want to... No. If I can get Headman for this price, though, that's a good deal. Easily double my money on that. Oh, no. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to get him for that. It would have been nice to, but that's crazy price for him. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I think um, I'll go up to like 550 on Headman if this guy bids again. I'm assuming he will. So what I like to do, like right once they bid, you bid quick again. So you, I get it already. No, it looks like I got him. And uh, sometimes they get screwed up and think they uh, actually they actually have last bid. 
and I actually lost the thing um, doing that. I uh, it was a Sue ban. Some guy got a Star of the Week Sue ban for fifteen hundred pucks. I was so mad. <coughs> but yeah, that that sucked. I, Cause he actually tricked me there, cause I was already to go fast, but I guess he went fast and I didn't even catch it, cause I was looking at my computer or something. So um, it looks like we can get like I think like we can get around three more cards. Maybe well, it depends who we get to. Uh, we could get like ten more cards. But what's up with Goligoskis? Why are they priced so high? I do not know. Brian now. Uh, he he's good, but I don't want to pay that much for him. Uh, <coughs> oh, I saw Bobrovsky. So um, oh, where do you go? Uh, there he is. I think he goes for around fifteen hundred. I could be mistaken, but I'm gonna. I don't want to go more than four hundred, just in case I'm wrong. Um, Lyles, nope. Uh, Fisher, nope. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to take the chance with him if it gets outbid. Bro, Doer for five hundred. I, <laughs> I really don't see him going for any less than that. So I'll definitely bid. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's see who else we've got here. Uh, Haglin. I, I didn't see any of him until very recently, so I don't know if they put him in the game just a couple days ago. Uh, for, I don't know. I think his price actually went up. Uh, no, because I bet there's like a buy now of like 700 out there, so I don't know. There's not much I could do. I, if I can get him for 250, that'd be nice. He's a really good card. Um,. Brian Lil for two fifty. He, he he doesn't go for much. I thought he'd go for a lot more than he does, but unfortunately he does not. How much? Uh, actually, what's Char's hitting? I'm just one. I meant not Char. Pronger. <coughs> All right. So let's see what else. Nothing really. Vorcheck for three fifty. I'd I'd take that. Uh, another Peron. No, I'd be running really low on pucks at that point. Steam, nope. I think I actually got a bit on some of my stuff. I know I did. I'm pretty sure um the Bobrovsky got a bid. Uh, Cogliano, there's a see that's like a regular price Cogliano. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I should have bought that one for like six hundred or whatever it was. That was, that was a good deal. Um, I don't I don't know. I don't really see too much here. Uh, Higgins, 400. I should list my guys as well. And the Bokov for three. That'd be nice. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Niskanen. I'm pretty sure he goes for a lot more than 300. So, uh, bid on him. Lars Eller. No, I usually sell him for about three or 400. So I'm going to pass on that. Wayne Simmons. He always gets, like, I see a lot of him around, but I never end up getting him. Uh, I think he goes for about 2000 <clears throat> I could be wrong there. I haven't checked his price for a while because I never end up getting him, like I said. Um, uh, let's see what else we've got here. Bertuzzi, no. See, there's a Stephen Weiss <coughs> for 300 I don't know why that... Oh, so Jared Stoll, can I get a uh, 1000 No, I don't have enough. Um... Uh, I don't... Oh, there's another Bobrovsky. Yeah, see, there's a bit of 750 on him there. So, it's weird how people bid on ones that are later. But, uh, maybe they don't notice. I'll bid on this Higgins. Um, Ballard, no. <coughs> I can pick Ballard up regularly for, like, 200. So, pass on that one. Uh, Dave Bolin, for one, he's got to sell for more than that. He's got pretty good stats. Jared stole for that price, definitely. And uh, I'm going to check out my trade pile real quick after this. Just want to check anything on this page. Does not look like it. <coughs> Actually, I'll fit on teaming him for that price. Um, <coughs> oh, was that Ocposa what I was just looking at for 250 Oh man, I gotta get back there. 
My bad. I usually don't make mistakes like that. I gotta get that though. Um, I'm pretty sure it was an Ocposo I was on. And that's a really good price for him. Yeah, 250 so. Uh, add him to my watch list. And it looks like I've actually got most of the stuff I bid on. Judging my, my puck total. Um, Bobrovsky is 600, alright. I got Ribeiro for 250. I'm pretty sure I could flip him for about six, maybe 700. Easily. Hopefully. But, uh, not too sure. Brian Little, there's no way I couldn't sell him for more than, like, a good 400. Uh, let's see who else we got. <coughs> Brodeur went for 1,000. Vorchek for 400. Niskanen for 350. Nabokov, 550. I got Weiss for 300. Um, who else? Higgins looks like we got for 300. Yeah, C. Simmons always goes up. Uh, Boland, I, I don't, mm, I will take the chance on him actually. <coughs> okay, so I got Higgins. I don't know how much I even started with, but. I'm sure we'll be able to make a profit. No, I'm not going up anymore on Boland. Jared Stoll, I'll definitely bid more. I think I could get like one to like 1.2k off him. So I could double my profit if I get him for this price. Uh, Timonen, uh, we'll bid 30, well, 350. <coughs> Oposa, we will also bid 350. Let's see if I got Stoll. I Nope, uh, I don't really have the pucks to do that, so I know he got a good deal on him though. Uh, looks like I might be able to snag, um, what's his name? Timonen. I don't know about Ocposo though. Let's see, um, yeah, I think I got Timonen. Ocposo, I doubt I'll get it, yeah. Um, I don't want to. I, no, I think it will only go for like a thousand, and I, that's if I get lucky. Uh, Timonen, he can sell for about 500 usually. I don't know with a pack out though, that could have changed. This is long episode by the way, it's almost been half an hour, I didn't even realize. Time goes quick. Uh, let's see what else here. <coughs> um, Felino for three, uh, it's all too soon. I think Cleary for, uh, nope, I'm not going to take the chance. Let's see what else we got. Maxime Latvina, no. Um, Tyler Kennedy has got good stats, he sells for like nothing though. Yeah, see there's another, maybe I should have brought that Cogley, I know for like, well I, I don't even remember what it was for, it was cheap though. Lad, no, it's too much. Um, hmm. There's another little. I might be. Uh, yeah, I'll bid on him. Might as well get two of them. Especially for that price, that's good. <coughs> um, Antoine Vermette, another player I see starting out at like a low price, but he always jumps up. I'll pass on that Weiss. Uh, I just want to add someone to my player list since I will probably get outbid on that uh, Vermette, who usually goes for about 2500 I think. So, uh, I just want to have someone to fall back on because I know I won't get that Vermette for that price. I don't really even see anyone. Maybe I should keep a couple pucks. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm sure I can make money on this downy though. I'll add him to my watch list. Um, no one's bid on that brunette yet. I don't know how much time is left though. <clears throat> I got brunette for three fifty pucks. Are you serious? Okay, steal of the episode right there. Three hundred and fifty pucks for him. Yeah, I can like easily um. I, I can't even, I, I was going to say quadruple, but I don't know what's after that. There's a, there's an easy six times, I'm pretty sure. I'll go check how much he goes for. Actually, let me just uh, check who all I've 
got so Hedman Little Gerby Higgins another Higgins Stephen Weiss Antoine Vermette I gotta check how much he goes for <coughs> uh, those guys were there before another Brian Little Mike Ribeiro Timo Timonen Steve Mason and Tim Connolly so I got some good deals in this episode I want to check uh, Vermette real quick there's no way his price dropped that much um, Phoenix so, Vermette so oh that's actually pretty low 1400 but still 350 um, uh, let's see 14 minutes left I'll add him to my watch list just in case no one's paying attention see there's one that's has like a higher bid but he was up there for longer <coughs> uh, let's see who else like the lowest I had, 1400 I think it was so I could probably sell if I put him up for overnight I could probably sell him for like 15 to possibly 2k actually uh, no it's 1600 so I think I could sell him for like 1500 if I put him up overnight how long is that one up for <coughs> actually maybe maybe I could squeeze out the 1750 for him but uh, definitely a good deal that's like six times what I spent well like five times what I spent um there I don't know I thought I got some really good deals in this episode so let me just list all these guys quickly um 800 to uh prices dropped I forget what I got him for I think it was like 300 so hopefully I can sell him for that I'll put him up for six hours Ryan Little I got cheap um we'll go 400 to 600 <coughs> for six hours Gerby we'll go 450 to 6 for six hours Higgins we'll go four, uh, we'll go 5 to 6 for six hours I know this part's probably boring guys but and uh, we'll make one cheaper I always do that for some reason <coughs> maybe make the other one look more tempting um, Stephen Weiss I got for 300 I think so I think you could go for easy 700 uh, no questions asked um, so I'm gonna put him up for 15 to 1800 for six hours I think that will sell uh, Griffin Reinhardt I'll put him up for like 1400 overnight uh, if he doesn't sell then I'll probably if you guys want a trade day that's what I'll do I bought Galchenyuk at the time the like there was one for 5,000 by now and the next one was like 7,000 and then after that it was 10,000 so I bought him for like 4,000 thinking that was a really good deal and I was gonna buy the 5,000 buyout and I was gonna like s sort of price lock him but only with a couple and um but unfortunately I don't know what happened to him his price dropped a ton so I think I'm gonna actually lose money on him and I accidentally only put him up for an hour uh Eliosh hmm like I really want like I got him for a good deal but actually I'm, I want to check how much he he goes for a uh, little oh six hours there we go Ribeiro I'm I'm thinking I could get like eight for him like his stats are really good look at that that's a <coughs> I think it, his stats seem like really similar to Semen I think well like he I don't know probably not I don't know why Semen came to mind but Anyways, um, he should sell for that, uh, maybe 450 to 5, uh, 450 to 6, sounds good. Dougie Hamilton, I forget what I, I bought one for 4,400, then another one for like 7,000, I think. Because all the rest were a lot higher, at like 10,000, so I'm gonna try and sell him for 47.5, I don't know, I think that's too low. 53 to 6 maybe and then I know I've got another one there oh see yeah I was trying to sell him for less than 4,000 and I couldn't sell him man that's rough uh listen for six hours out of that so the other one's definitely not gonna sell I got Tim Conley for really really good deal he should sell at that price no doubt he's got good stats too uh Steve Mason I bought for 700 I'm not sure. I'll try and sell him for that. I doubt he will, but if he does, I'll be happy about that. 
So last but not least, I want to check out uh, what's his name. I can't even remember it now. <coughs> okay, Patrick. Oh my gosh, there's so many more right now. Uh, twenty. No, are you kidding me? Twenty two k by now. I'm gonna lose like six k pucks. Easy. That one's. That one's really low. Oh my god, no. Earlier he was going for so little. I think what I'm gonna have to do, I'm just gonna sell him for like 20k. So he sells fast, and then I'll take the like 8k loss, which sucks, but hopefully I'll make it back on some of the other guys. I think I'm done with trying to uh, resell Star of the Weeks because it is tough. Like their prices change so much, like so quickly too. So yeah, I'm gonna try and sell them for like. 18,000, 21,000 by now, and I know I'm going to lose a lot of pucks on that, but I'm glad I didn't go any higher, because I was going to go to like, <coughs> excuse me, I was going to go to like, I think it was 37, because I think, I thought I could still make money off of it, but turns out, uh, it was a very bad investment, so hopefully that sells, that's disappointing, but um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this, I didn't realize how long this was going, but uh, let me know if you watched the full video. Comment like lemons or something random. I don't know. I, I don't know what I was thinking about lemons. But anyways, hopefully you guys all enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. And that's all for now, guys. We will see you next time.